in the name of allah most gracious most merciful hello everyone this is a dr tarim sud thank you very much for watching my video and your your unprecedented support and conviction to make our channel a grand success we are a partner please subscribe our channel if you haven't done so far we as a team can convert challenges into opportunities and opportunities into success stories and these success stories can be monetized into value so today i'm going to discuss my lecture number 2 on personality assessment model so in my earlier lecture we have discussed extroversion introversion today we will discuss sensing and intuitions thank you very much again before my lecture i read a quranic verse rabbi shrahli sadri wa yassirli amri wa halal uqdatam min lisani yaqfa qawli rabbi zidni ilma so before my lecture i will take a your sometimes i will demonstrate my future plan into two slides and after that i will start my sensing intuition today my lectures that is sensing and intuitions thank you very much again now i am going to start on my next slide what is my future plan on different type of uh, technical lecture and center of excellence what is my plan on center of excellence as i have discussed earlier i have a plan to give how the process industry are functioning effectively efficiently what are the ground rules if you can see here on my pyramid from bottom to top here so the first layer is called the leading factors so leading factors must be reliable very important must not have releases from any reasons so these factor have a logical connection up to top and the second is a semi leading so work safely or not at all that is the semi leading and number 3 semi lagging so production at rate product at specification there is always time to do it right on the last here that is lagging factors very important how to achieve here if it is worth doing do it in better way in order to stay on the top to achieve a maximum we need a different discipline engineers who should participate petroleum chemical electrical instrument control mechanical industrial and so on and these engineers must have a specialty as far as the process industry is concerned what are the special specialty we needed a loss prevention engineer safety engineers process engineer operation optimization or discipline maintenance corrosion integrity liability cost project and etc these engineers when acquired a specialty then they deliver what we supposed to be to have maximum value in order to stay on the top of the pyramid so they will contribute from bottom to top in order to deliver the result as planned how to do these activities to well frame and strategically structured we need a center of excellence for engineering best practices so based on that we can deliver or we can constitute what we want to be and why we want to be at the top of the pyramid so on my next slide we will give a brief about the key focus area how the center of excellent for engineering back best practice can function effectively and efficiently okay as we have discussed in my last slide the chemistry of center of excellence 
No, I'm going to discuss uh, the whole center of accident, how we can implement it. Okay. What is the key element? We need to understand the facilities here. These are the facilities here. Okay. Okay. So these are, are my product quality, which this is my goal. This is my feed here. Okay. To do a seamless operation, I need to understand a three a basics key factor. Number one, doing things right. Secondly, doing the right things. Number three here, doing the right things right. These are three segments to accomplish. I have to do a huge number of activities. If you see on my left side here, has a QRA, has it risk assessment and SIL. Okay. These one, two, three, four, five. I have to do these four activities in order to start a rest of operation. So after that, leadership, I have it delivered a 22 lecture already available in YouTube. Then competency, work management, facilities, alarm critical, contract and selection, maintenance facilities, capacity enhancement, show long term run on operator cares, management, cash box management system project, and effective benchmarking system. Okay, what I will brief here hazard and operability management system. The hazard provides a systematic method of analyzing the cause and effects of abnormal plant operation. It structure the responsibilities and technique of hazard and operability study. It applied for a plant a process utilities. It shall include lines containing hydrocarbons, fluids, which could pose hazards and utilities, firefighting, emergency, open close drainage and flare system. Number two, a QRA quantitative risk assessment. To define the criteria to be used in quantitative risk assessment carried out for a company where it has a third party interest major stakeholder in a projects. These criteria will ensure the consistency of the studies in order that direct comparison may be made between studies. So it include three key elements as far as the scope is concerned. Individual risk criteria, location specific individual risk criteria and hazard assessment. Okay, QRA applied majorly hazards risk such as a toxic and flammable gases, firefighting and explosion, etc. Over here, number next is hazard identification here. Now we we'll talk about hazard identification here. Early identification of the potential hazard and the threats from project, plant or plant modification. So it covers the structure responsibility and techniques of the hazard study. It includes all phases of the project, feasibility, concept, optimization, feed, APAC, operation and decommissioning, abandonment, potential hazard to her human safety, environment or production loss. The risk assessment here, it shows the process procedure to identify, assess and manage risk, HA system driving residual risk to as low as possible, acceptable level. In last year safety integrity levels, to determine appropriate reliability required from the elements of the safety instrumented functions, SIF, in prior safety studies likewise has a so structure responsibility and technique of the safety integrated level study using calibrated risk graph and LUPA, layer of protection analysis method. So it covers safety instrumented system, SAS in process, vendor package system, utility system, 
a FND system associated with ESD system potential for hazards to a human safety environment or asset or protection loss. So these are my one, two, three, four, five safety segments in order to execute and accomplish a rest of operational activities. Okay, today we are going to discuss lecture number two, personality assessment. In my earlier lecture, we have discussed uh, uh, extroversion, introversions. Today we are going to discuss only sensing and intuitions. Gathering and becoming aware of information based on that, you, we can make a decision what is supposed to be done. That is part of the sensing and intuitions. So, as you know, earlier we have detailed discussion on extraversion, introversions. Okay. Okay. Now, we are going to discuss sensing and intuitions. Now, what is the sensing? You noticed. You noticed and trust facts, detail and present realities. That is the first part. Second here, so what is the preferred intuitions? You attend to and trust interrelationship, theories and future possibility, how you can make decisions on different aspects. So that is basically sensing and intuitions. In my next slide, we'll give you what are the key takeaway points from this lecture. Okay. Key takeaway points on personality assessment lecture number two. What is sensing? Impact of sensing. What is intuitions? Impact of intuitions. Communication style and how to enhance change management and enhancement. And number seven, conflict management. So these are the seven takeaway points from this lecture. Okay. As Thank you very much for your time. As we have completed emotional intelligence, uh, almost it took almost six months. Uh, probably uh, within a month, I hope we can complete personality assessment. Okay. What is the personality assessment? What is the perso personality? So, there are many different theories. One theory is, uh, it suggests that... Uh, we have opposite ways of gaining energy that is extroversion, introversions, gathering or becoming aware of information, what we have, what we need to have it. That is also known as a sensing or intuitions. And deciding or making decisions or conclusion, what we do or what we should not do, thinking or feeling. And uh, with dealing with the world around us that is judging and perceiving how the concept is a personality assessment is derived from this lecture probably. So, on my next slide, uh, the first I'm going to discuss here. Okay. Now, we are going to discuss a personality assessment. Basically, personality constituted into eight segments and four pairs. Each pair has uh, two elements which are opposing each other. So, now we will describe brief about the first pair, second, third and fourth pair. What is the first pairs? Introversions and extroversions. So the in both areas, introversion, extroversion, the prefer extroversions focus on the outside world to get energy or through interacting with people and are doing things right. In introversions, what would be the preferred introversions? Focus on the inner world and get energy through reflecting on information, ideas, and or concept. Okay. On third preference, on over here, on sensing and intuitions, notices and trust facts, details, and present realities. That is the first sensing. And prefer intuitions, you attend to and trust interrelationship theories and future possibilities. So on my third peers, thinking and feelings, you may make a decisions using a logical objective analysis as far as thinking is concerned. In prefer feelings, 
make decisions to create harmony by applying a person assented values okay on my last and fourth pair is judging and perceiving you test to be organized and orderly and to make decisions quickly as far as judging is concerned and what would be the prefer perceiving tend to be flexible adaptive to keep your options open as long as possible okay in my earlier lecture we have discussed introversion extroversions today we will discuss only sensing and intuitions on a later stage we will discuss thinking feelings judging and perceiving these are two peers will be discussed in next couple of weeks okay this is my simulation model so i am going to demonstrate how it's functioning okay now in my first bar this is my calculation bar from middle left hand side and right hand side it's moving from x team right hand side and x team left hand side so both sides are divided into four segments that is first is a slight then moderate if you can see here clear and very clear in similar on left hand sides both sides so both sides have a different scores from 0 to 30 so if you move more on left hand sides or extreme left and right hand side or uh, your your senses will be very much clear so in our earlier lecture we have discussed introversions and extroversions so over here we will focus only sensing and intuitions if you see here the extroversions again a five marks it's slight changes but sensing gone 22 thinking 27s and 25 so sensing that is clear thinking very clear and judging that is clear how the each sense or concept demonstrate its value based on calculations okay so if you will brief about that the what is the extraversion typical logical analytical and objective critically so the typically logically objective as we mentioned here like to organize project and then act to get a things done in system system systematically timely and efficient manners okay on the next here the what is basically sensing here sensing matter of fact practically realistic and concerned with here and now past experiences helps them solve the problem and they want to be sure that the ideas plan and decisions are based on solid act okay what are the next is def defining the role and given the way to do things right so if they are to change their way of doing something they need to change or their rules for doing it logically and consistent and number 4 here focus on the immediate solutions visible and tangible so it will demonstrate they like to solve the problem and organize a things and then move on they have little patience for confusion or inefficiency and may pursue sometimes with the heavy hand to help the group they are part of get the task done okay on last year more satisfied in the work involvement so basically when you are on the likely to be more satisfied in work involvement that values setting goals make decisions being organized and getting things done 
So the people have a more concern about a judging concept can count on them to follow through in an organized, efficient and practical manner. Okay, in my earlier slide, we focus and discuss extroversion, sensing, thinking, judging. Now, on my this slide, we will discuss on define the introversions, extroversions, the feeling and perceivings. So focus on the inner world and get energy through reflecting on information, ideas or in concept. Number two, attend to trust, interrelationship theories, future possibilities, feelings, make decision to create harmony by applying person-centered values. And number four, tend to be flexible, adoptive and keep your options open as long as possible. Okay. On my next slide, we will discuss specifically uh, sensing and intuition and their subsection. Then we will run a model and then we'll conclude in end of our presentation. Okay, sensing and intuitions. So, sensing and intuitions again are constituted into 10 segments, 5 pairs, and each pair has a two opposite forces. In first, concrete and abstract. Okay, so what is concrete? Exact facts, literally tangible, abstract, figurative, symbolic, and intangible. Number two, realistic, imaginative. So sensible, matter of fact, see efficiency. But imaginative, resourceful, inventive, seek novelty. Number three, so pragmatic result that is practical and conceptual. Pragmatic result oriented applied and scholarly idea oriented intellectuals. So number four, experimental, theoretical. Okay, now what is the experimentals? hands-on empirical trust experience and seek pattern hypothetical trust theory as far as the theoretical is concerned and the last here traditional and original conventional customers tried and try unconventional different new and unusual that is original so these are five segments five peers opposite forces talk to each other how the things should happen as per the sensing and intuitions are concerned. In my next slide we will run a model and see how each peers how much they got score and where they are stand against each other. Okay now we are going to discuss sensing and intuitions. So sensing and intuitions so first, what is the sensing here? Then intuitions, focusing on what can be perceived by the five senses and focus on the perceiving pattern and interrelationship as the intuitions are concerned. So here are concrete realistics as we have discussed earlier. So we will, they are Concrete, realistic, practical experience, tradition, they are in preference and opposite poles, abstract, imaginative, conceptuals, theoretical, original, they are uh, out of preference. So now first we'll discuss in preference, they have sc scored a five points and what is the concrete basically is grounded in the reality and trust the facts, interpret things internally, cautious about making Preferences make find it hard to turn to link to facts, the bigger pictures, begin what you know to true and have all the facts in order before moving on, may be seen by others as resistant to change. So that is how the concrete, although you may not see yourself that way. Okay, on the next in preference is realistic, real, in preference, realistic. So in realistic here, so that is sensible matter of fact to see the things how they looks like. Take pride in your common sense and ability to realistically 
appraise situations, value efficiency, practical and cost effective, appreciate direct experiences and tangible results, believe that good techniques lead to good results, are seen as matter of fact and sensible. In number three, in preferences, practically, find that applying ideas more appealing than the ideas themselves, need to see an ideas application to understand it, impatient listen to ideas if a practical use is not the end result, favor practical utility over intellectual curiosities, and number four here, experimental, so learn best from direct hands-on experiences and rely on its guide you. Careful not to generalize too much. Focus more on the past and present than the futures. Concentrate on what is happening now rather than thinking about meaning and theories. May sometimes get back on details at the expense of the large considerations. So number five, a traditional here. Identify strongly with what is similar, comfortable with the tried and a true because it provides a precedent to follow, admire and support established institutions and methods, reluctant to change things that are working well, enjoy participating in traditions at work and at home. So that are in preference concrete, realistic, practical, experimental tradition are five senses are concerned as far as the intuition is concerned. So there's opposite pole, abstract, imaginative, conceptual, the theoretical and original. That is the opposite pole that is out of preferences. In my next slide here, so we, we are going to have more about how these sensing and intuition will give impact on communications on change management and conflict management. In first year, sensing and intuition impact on communication and what are the rules we should follow on the communication. First, tell other what kind of information you needed. Ask other what they need. Monitor your impatience when other styles dominate. Number four, realizing that others like are not trying to annoy you when they use their own communication style. First is a concrete. So the start with interactions by helping people get to know one and others. That is the first communication style and to improve your make sure that the people actually need and what these in introductions. Questioning saying whatever is in your mind to anyone who will listen, that is what your style is supposed to be. And recognize when it is important not to say what is on your mind and then what don't say to it. So that is your enhancement. Critical, talk about here and now details. So op be open to inferences that can arise from the details. That is uh, your first is style and then you can enhance how to do it. Tough, likely to communicate by reading and writing. Recognize that your message did not get across unless you will to say aloud. So methodically, so then you can experience enthusiasms internally, don't show them to others, be aware other will think you are interested selectively let people know what really interest for you okay so in my next slide we will discuss change management so the first what are the change management has the impact sensible impact on the change management be clear what is change and what is remaining identify what you need to know to understand the changes and then seek out there the information to help others deal with change. Encourage open discussion about the change. Be aware that this is easier for some than others. Make sure that both logical reasons and personal or social values have considered. Same here and first your facets, concrete, idealistic, experimental, traditions. So the change management here, the first style, 
will actively embrace or resist change depending on whether you agree with it. So step back and consider whether your stance will be really get you what you want in the long run, that is enhance change management. Realistic plan as far as in advance as possible for the change, the first, and allow for the expect, unexpected in your long run plan, it will happen. And experimentals detail the many steps necessary to implement the change. And know that circumstances may require that the carefully developed steps by change in the moment. And traditionals detail the many steps necessary to implement the changes. And know that the circumstances may require that the carefully developed steps by change in the moment. That is how the tradition can happen. In my next slide here, we are going to discuss here the change management concept here. So the conflict of the management styles. If you can see the first here, the expressive discuss the conflict and your emotional reaction to it immediately. Number to be aware that the, even though others may not speak up immediately, they may feel strongly about the issue. Okay. Graduates involve all relevant people in resolving the conflict, not just those you know well. And respect the need of some people to remain uninvolved until they are ready to participate. Okay. Questionings that ask many questions of others to reveal all the issues in the conflict. Be aware that the people may take your question style as challenging rather than to help in resolving the issue. Be clear about your intent. Number three. Okay. Number four here. The tough push to resolve the conflict immediately so that progress can be made. Okay, so recognize that delays in implementation may be necessary to reach the goals. Okay, last early starting, believe conflict can be avoided by the starting work on project early. So the last make all allowances for people for whom starting early is not comfortable. Okay, thank you very much for your time your convictions. On my next lecture, you, we are going to discuss thinking, a feeling, and then we will conclude the impact of thinking, feeling on communication, change management, and conflict management. Thank you very much again for your precious time. So on my next lecture, we are going to discuss thinking, a feeling, and judging, perceiving. Thank you very much. Thank you very much for your feedback and comments. Please send me on t.masood.dr at both.edu. Have a great day. Thank you very much and stay blessed.